All right, come on. How do you guys d d do this? It's freezing. I've got a nice fluffy coat, so I'm doing okay. Yeah, I agree with Ness. It's freezing out here. I think you all are just complaining too much. Easy for you to say. How do you even have that much hair? Oh, uh, shampoo and conditioner. Damn, that's what I get for using three in one. I feel like it's been dark since we got here. Does anybody know the time? Well, this is the flip side, so it's always going to be dark. And also, time doesn't work here. I should know I'm kind of the keeper of it after all. Yeah. We're almost to where we need to be, guys. Just a little bit longer. How much is a little bit anyway if time doesn't work here? I don't know, what do you feel like a little bit of time is? Uh, well, I would say, like, maybe half a day, at most. Hmm, interesting. Sap will never know. Jeez. I don't know about you all, but I'm ready to get the hell out of here. It's freezing. I second that. I don't think the lake Fred Bear was talking about should be that much further up. Hmm. Hey, Roxy. Oh, uh, what's up? Since, you know, we got recruited by Fredbear, have you ever been tempted to go back? Oh god, no, I would never. What Glitchtrap did was horrible. I... I could never bear to go through that again. The last thing I saw was a man that Glitchtrap wanted to control. He was powerful. He had his own dreams, even if they were evil ones. And just seeing him overtaken instantly by Glitchtrap, well, I was already on a breaking point, but that just proved it to me that I needed to get the hell out of that nightmare. Uh, gotcha. Why do you bring that up? Are you planning on going back? N no, no, I, I don't know. No, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That was, that was a bad time in my life. I was power-hungry, egotistical, and I, I was an asshole, overall. And, and, and I, I I got help through a lot of that with with, with, with with Fredbear and all, with our therapy sessions and stuff. It was, it helped me a lot. Chica, you can be honest with me, he's not listening. He's not in our ears like Glitchtrap was. Henry's a good man. Well... To be honest. What the hell? Do you see that? Yeah, it's a crack in the wall. Or the sky. Or whatever this stuff is. Do you feel the urge to go towards it? A little. this together. But, but, but what about- No. We have to do this on our own. We've grown as people, remember? Yeah. Y you're right. Well, you ready to see what the hell this thing is? I would think. Oh, I think they lag behind. Girls would- <gasps> GIRLS! What? No! No! Come back! Girls! What? What? Golden tree? Quick! Did, did you just see a, a, a chicken and a wolf come out here? No, I didn't. This just showed up and you came out. There's nothing, nothing here. Shit! You didn't see any of this. <gasps> what was in those pixie sticks? Where did he go? <laughs> what, what, what the hell? What's wrong, Fredbear? I've gotten so far! No, 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 no! The girls. I lost them. Something came in a portal and took them. Wait, but I thought you said that the flip side was sacred, and nothing could travel here. That's what I thought. But I I've never been sure. That's why I've been so weary while we've been traveling. I don't want to encounter anything. But it seems like we were too late. My mentor of this place, he was wrong. 
Wait, so this is... who took them? I didn't get a good look at them, but I think the glitch might have taken them. Glitch up reached the flip side? But how? That's impossible. I thought you said you're the only one that can make the portals that come here. That's what I thought, but no, I, I saw purple and yellow. It's all too familiar. Wrong. Unless we're dealing with something else entirely. Where are we? I don't know. This is strange. It's almost like a building. Oh god. Oh god, what did we do? What did we do? This is a mistake. I, I shouldn't have said the things I did. Now we're stuck who knows where. And Fredbear's not here. And oh. Chica, calm down. Calm down. Look, look, look. Did I? Look, it's alright, it's alright. Just, just just, calm down, alright? This is fine. We'll figure it out. I don't know where we are. This is nuts! I, I can't deal with this! <sighs> Weird. This place looks like almost like a restaurant or something. Roxanne? What's up? Come take a look at this. Fredbear! Thank God, Fredbear. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Chica, I don't... I don't think that's Fredbear. Look at his eyes. Ugh. They are a little creepy, aren't they? Hey, that's Spring Bonnie! She looks kind of lifeless, too. Why are they... Statues? No, I don't think that's it. I, I think these characters don't have life. They look... Soulless. I think you're right. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I think we just need to keep investigating. Maybe there's a door or some way out of here. Yeah, hopefully. This is a pretty crummy ball pit. What the hell? Is that coming from? Oh god. Oh dear god. Roxy! <gasps> what? Was this thing always sitting here? What are you talking about? Whoa, what the? Does it move? I guess I'll just investigate it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really want to get close to it. It gives me weird vibes. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Good evening, travelers! It is I, the Nut God! Ah! What the- Now I will slay your blood! My delicious tin nut nuts is sorry, save her on, you know that word- Ah! Ah! Chica! Hmm? What? You alright? It kinda zoned out for a second there. Oh! Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know, my mind went to weird places. Um, did you find anything? Oh, yeah, I did. This thing is heavy. Ugh. There's a button on its back. Oh. Press it and see what it does. You want to take cover, this thing might be a bomb. Well, uh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't press it then? What other choice do we have? If this place is some sort of magical place, it's clearly leading us to the exit. So, I'm definitely sure this wasn't here before. Good point. Okay, here goes. <gasps> it's only now that I understand the depth, the depravity of this creature, this monster. Is that Henry? I helped to create. As if what he had done wasn't enough, he found a new way to desecrate, to humiliate, to destroy. And as if the suffering wasn't enough, the loss of innocence, the loss of everything to so many people, small souls trapped in the prisons of my making, now set to new purpose, used in ways I never thought imaginable. Wait, I think he said something like this once. 
He lured them all back, back to a familiar place, back with familiar tricks. He brought them all together. Are they still aware? I hope not. It keeps me awake at night. I could make myself sleep, but not yet. Not until I undo what he has done and heal this wound. A wound that was first inflicted upon me, and one that I let bleed out to cause all of this. He set some kind of trap, but he led them there. Again. He overpowered them. Again. And he robbed them of the only thing that they had had. Again. I don't know how those tiny breaths of life came to inhabit those machines, but they will never find rest now. Not like this. I have to call them all back, all of them, together, in one place. I... I don't really get it. Yeah. What is this trying to tell us? I don't know. Jesus, what? 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 Oh, whoa. Whoa. That's morbid. His eyes are... Is it alright? Oh. There you are, Henry. You know, Henry's tried explaining everything that happened to us, and it's never really quite clicked. But did we ever consider how Henry played in that whole thing? Yeah. He always painted himself as the hero, but if that tape really is him, then maybe he's more trouble than we thought. Is that something I ever really crossed in my mind? Is Henry really the good guy? Sure, he saved me from something terrible, but... Are what we doing is truly right? He's talked about Glitchtrap as this evil, terrible demon that reaps on the happiness of others, but... Sure, he may have had a bad effect on me in the long run, but... Glistrap cares about me, right? He cares about us. Doesn't everyone deserve a second chance? Hey, wait a second. Weren't there two of them? Hmm? Wait a minute. Hey, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Spring Bonnie's gone. I wonder why. What the hell? Why is it dark? I don't know. Start running and don't follow. Don't look back. Just follow me. Chica. Wait, I know. Freddy, are you coming? No, I gotta make sure Foxy's okay. Okay. Remember, Freddy, stick to the plan. All right. Freddy, go. What are you doing? Foxy. Hey. You two are. Good job, Freddy. All right, hand here. All right, let me tie it off. You got this, bro. Ah, got it. That should keep him for a while. <sighs> you kids have gotten pretty smart. Eh, I old tricks, new habits. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Come back here. <sighs> Are you guys okay? Yeah, bud, it's okay. It's just, you know, a lot to process. All right, it's nice having new adults around, you know. Carl, do you think it's gonna be okay? I think it's gonna be all right, Chica. Just, just hang in there. Okay. Mm, Chica, I'm scared. What if Freddy and Foxy aren't okay? What if they there? Bonnie, don't say that. I'm, I'm sure they're okay. I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad you all ever doubted your captain. Y yeah, I'm here too. Freddy, Foxy. Ah! <laughs> I told you all that plan would work. That scary man's no match for us. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm just tired. What's gonna happen next when he breaks out? I don't know. That's a good question. We have to plan, obviously. Good job, Brad. Thanks, Carl. Okay, can someone explain to us what's going on? Yeah. Oh, um, who should explain? Uh, you guys mind if I do it? Go ahead, Freddy. Uh, you kind of have a better memory than I do anyway. Okay. Uh, hi. I'm Freddy. Uh, this is my friends Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Uh, nice. Well, my name's Glamrock Chica. And I'm Roxanne. Oh, wow, we have the same name. Are you my auntie? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, probably more like your, like, great-great-grandchild, but uh, let's not worry about that right now. Huh? Uh, Freddy, continue the explanation. Okay, so, uh, there's our mom and dad. Uh, Papa Fred Bear and Mama Spring Bonnie. And, uh, well, we were all just kind of living in the pizzeria having a grand old time. And then something bad happened. Like what? Well, uh, something scary, evil, scary man possessed Mama Spring Bonnie. And, and now she wants to hurt us. And that man has a spell under Papa Fredbear, and he won't wake up. Yeah, and sometimes his eyes fall out. It's really scary. Oh my god. R Roxanne, these are just a bunch of kids. Yeah, it's like almost like kid versions of Gabriel, Jeremy, Susie, and Fritz. That doesn't make sense, though. From what Fredbear has told us, Charlie brought them all in as like adulterated versions of themselves. Why are there all a bunch of kids here? I have a feeling that this is something bigger than we thought. Yeah. I just... I just want Mama Spring Bonnie back and we, we've been trying to fight the evil man inside of her, but it's not working. Don't say that. We keep her at bay from time to time. And we're making progress. Just not enough to finish the job. You're right, Foxy. So you two must be our, our our guardian angels, right? You've come here to save us from the evil man inside our mom. Yeah, and he he won't, he won't hurt us anymore. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're, we're gonna fix all of this. Yeah, you won't have to deal with him anymore. Uh, yay! <sighs> We've been saved. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Chica and Miss Roxanne. It's okay. It's okay, bud. Yeah. So what do we do? I'm not entirely sure. What? what? But, 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 but I thought Guardian Angels are supposed to have all the answers. Oh, sweetie, they do. It's just, it's kind of, we got assigned this a long time ago. Uh, it's just sort of hard to remember. Uh, just let it come to us real quick. Okay, Chica, the thing is terrifying. We have to figure out a way to stop it. I don't know. We got to save these kids. Wait, wait. Our, our powers, they work here. You advanced time on that cupcake earlier, remember? You're right! I got an idea. I'll age them all up, they'll all be adults again, and then we can kick the shit out of them! No, I don't know if that's gonna work. Think about it. They might all physically be the ages of adults, but will they mentally? Besides, maybe they won't understand how to use their bodies, and it'll be too much whiplash for them. I don't think we can go through with that. You're right. We gotta think of something else. What if we just physically overload that Spring Bonnie thing? I mean... We did it before. Sure, but then again, I just thought, what if we accidentally killed our mom too? We have to find a way to get that thing out of her. That's true. Hmm. Wait, I, I got it. So how about I use my sound powers to pin it against the wall and then you can reverse time on it. What's that gonna do? What I'm saying is we reverse time on it until we get whatever the heck that is out of her. We'll split the two apart, and then we can separate them and just kill it. And there you go. Problem solved. That's a really great idea, actually. Better than anything I could have thought of. <laughs> Thanks, really. Thanks. All right, let's tell them. All right, kids. So we have a plan. Our plan. Uh, so really what we need you all to do is just sort of, when you walk in there, let's scatter. Run around. It's like almost like a game of tag. But don't actually tag each other or chase each other. Just run around. Okay, so we're gonna distract them. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you got it. While me and Auntie Roxanne, we do stuff and get that thing out of your mom. We'll do it for you. You guys just have to distract him. Are you guys sure? Of course. 
All right, come on. We got this. Yeah, you kids just get ready to run. We can take a minute getting there, by the way. Save your energy. Foxy, are you sure about this? <laughs> yeah, I think we got it. I'll, I'll step back. You kids be okay. Careful, all right? Okay, Carl, we will. Bye, Carl. Bye, Chica. I hope they're careful. Well, we're here. Hey, let's find that thing. Guys, it's Dad! Dad? Dad? You up yet? Dad, these really nice ladies are gonna save us. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Please wake up, Dad. Yeah, we, we have to save Mom, Dad, please. Roxanne? Hmm? What's up? Behind me. <gasps> Alright. In three. One. Two. Scatter! <laughs> that was the code word, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on, Bonnie! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, gee, gee. <laughs> I got this! <laughs> That much of a rush in a really long time. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. Right, your tail. <laughs> oh. oh, thank God. Let's bring Bonnie. Ma'am, ma'am, are you up? Uh. Uh. <clears throat> huh? What? Huh? Ma ma'am, it's okay. Oh gracious. The Lord's blessed us with two women to save us. The what? Why is she? Why is she? Why is she from the south? You know what, Chica? Maybe we don't need that answer today. Where are my beautiful babies? Mama! Mommy! Um, mommy! Oh, I missed you four so much. Oh, oh. Where's your father? Hun? Fred Bear? Uh, uh. Mm? Huh? What happened? Dear, dear, is it over? I, I think so. Oh, thank goodness. Kids. Oh, thank God you're all right. Is everything okay? Dad, your eyes are funny. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I have a feeling that that's going to be there for a while. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, it's still your old, same old dad. Oh, all right. 
We really miss you guys. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, it's been real scary and stuff. We've been trying to save you. These two ladies helped us. <laughs> oh, who are the fine two ladies I must meet? Okay, that hog was extremely adorable. I made my whole night. Or day. Or whatever this is supposed to be. You know what I mean. Hi, sir. Um, I'm Glamrock Chica. And I'm Roxanne. You're the ones that helped save your kids. Thank you so much. Where would my family be without you? You two are incredible. I don't know how you did it, but thank you for perishing us of that demon. You're welcome, sir. Um, any chance you can help us get out of here? Oh, of course, but I must tell you that I'm so very proud of the both of you. You've both truly shown me how strong you are today. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, what? Why'd you say that like you know who we are? Because maybe I do. Dad! What's wrong, Dad? Uh, what was that? I was saying congratulations and then all of a sudden... Huh? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, it's been a while since I've seen your faces. Clutch You two are incredible. Truly a masters of your craft. You two have had some training time, haven't you? Henry knows me best, preparing my two perfect girls back for me. Are you the one that possessed this girl and stole their family from me? Oh, right. These are the characters I had in mind. But, you know, that's not how things turned out. So I made a complete simulation of them. Yep. This entire thing's been fake. Huh? Th those people! A family! It was all a lie! Not entirely. There's certainly some characteristics of some I borrowed from people I know. I'm sure you two picked up on that. But what's the point of all of this? Well, to sort of show you that... I think you two need me. No, we don't. We don't need you. We've moved on to bigger and better things. Chica. 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 It's been so long since you've seen my face. That terrible Henry's brainwashed you. Turned you away from me. I'm, I've been searching for you. I've been spending every waking moment thinking about you. I've, everything that I've done until now has led me to finding you. And inadvertently finding your other friend. Roxanne, I don't know what led you to want to follow Henry, but know what I've shown you here is the truth. Let's just say I archived some media, and everything you heard of it was true. What are you saying? I'm saying Henry isn't dependable. He's just as troubled as myself. Just know I'm... I'm here for the both of you. I... I'm not great at showing emotion. I'll be totally honest. But just know that this was a family from the start. And that's all I've ever thought about. How to bring you two back to me. Because... I couldn't bear any second longer knowing that Henry had stolen you from me. Terror and our family apart. I'm so sorry for any pain I've caused the two of you. But listen, if this is anything, it's proved to me that you two are truly my strongest keepers. And without you, I don't know what I'd do with myself. What I'm trying to say in all this is I appreciate you just as much as the others. The four of you, though two may not be here now, I love all four of you dearly. I just want to bring our family back together. Put our family back together. It's all I want. So please, return home with me. Complete my keepers so we can complete my mission. And be a beautiful, big, Happy family. Glitztrap, I've... I had some doubts. But I also... had some... reconsiderations about this whole thing. 
being with Henry for so long, it was nice. We finally got to share some moments together. It was exactly what I wanted out of our family, though small. But it's grown, and it was really nice. But I guess I never really thought about how you felt. I probably could have escaped Henry had I tried, but I didn't. I do want to accept your offer. I mean, what hurts to give it a second shot? Doesn't everyone deserve a second chance? Roxanne, I want to apologize about the night with XOR. That was disgusting of me. I should have never put you up to that. I'm sorry. Sure. Um, yeah, I guess everyone does deserve a second chance, don't they? Even though that experience I had with him was traumatizing and terrifying, and the thought that that's a part of your plan is kind of disgusting to me, frankly. But, Roxanne, what about our family? I'm not done, Chica. But... I'm willing to put that behind us, you know? Start anew. I'm just saying, English Trap. I want a little bit out of this, too. We can be a family, but... We don't have to keep doing this. Why can't we just live in harmony? Oh, come on, Roxanne. Isn't harmony all I've ever wanted? Yeah. I guess it has. But one last question. I'm all ears. Outside of yourself, you said four. But this has always been a family of five. Whatever happened to Vanny? Questioning my authority. An unbridled mistake, Roxanne Wolf. I'm not an idiot. I could see you were lying through your teeth. As you could see I was. What's the point in lying to us? You're not getting anything out of it. <laughs> it's never been about family for me, but whatever. Get the wishy-washy emotion and stuff in there just to sob the story and Make everything more interesting, you know? Plus, it makes you all trust me. But it seems you two saw it through my deception. You're smart. But there's one thing you two have forgotten. We will always be a family. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, where has my life gone? Never thought I'd be sitting in a frozen wasteland, glitched wasteland nonetheless with my sister and a good friend of mine just sitting in this lilac colored blanket. Well, the man to my left, or no, my learn to my right, he just rambles about things that we have no idea about. I can't be there. Spring trap, you lack the maturity to take this seriously. Of course I'm taking it seriously, it's just, I don't know, we've been sitting here for a really long time. Though, like Glamrock Chica explained, we can't really measure that amount of time. She is right, you know. <sighs> True. I just, I'm trying to map this out, but it's just not, it's not, it's not working. I just want to know where they are, I just want to know if they're safe, it's, <sighs> it's frustrating. Someone in the glitch realm, if you're out there, give me answers, please. Where are my girls? What the fuck? Why? Who said that? Who? Show yourself! Oh god, guys, he's lost it. Is everything okay, Henry? I swear I heard a voice. I it said my name. It, 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 it was. It was. It was. Henry? 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 Oh, shit. William! 
Where am I? No, 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 no. You know why I'm here. Turn around. Fairmont. Henry. No, you... You couldn't have. How? Oh, I have my ways. And now everything... Everything is into place. Get back here! Get back here! <laughs> so how do we know where he went? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a scientist. I Literally, I do rituals that, that, that defies science. It's at least a third of my character. What if he got taken to the same place that Chica and Roxanne did? No, this is different. This didn't put on a display. This wasn't a crack. He just got teleported. I... How? How could something do something like that? It doesn't make any sense! Henry! Henry, where'd you go? What happened, Henry? Henry? Henry, what's wrong? No!